Hello, this is Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. I'm Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today for this Word from God. This week, we're talking about all aspects of the Holy Spirit, that Jesus told the Holy uh, told His disciples uh, that He was leaving so that the Holy Spirit could come and not just be with them, but be in them. And one of the results of having the Holy Spirit in us is joy. In Acts chapter 2, we read that the Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost, and the Bible says that those who were witnesses of the events actually thought the disciples were drunk. Uh, There was an emotional aspect to being filled with the Spirit. Now, churches today are often thought of as more austere, serious, and lacking in fun. Um, Most church services I know would never be mistaken for having a drunken party. But take note of some of the things that the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. In Romans chapter uh, 14 and verse 7, we read, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5.22 says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. And there's some others as well. Romans chapter 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. And Acts chapter 13 and verse 52 says, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, I'm not sure how you define joy. I looked it up on Google this morning, and I found this definition, a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. Sadly, in church, uh, we sometimes try to define joy by saying you can be filled with joy and not be happy. And I don't always get that. Um, Can you be joyful and sorrowful at the same time? I'm not sure. I don't have the answer to that necessarily. I know Psalm 30 starts off with being very depressing and very dark. He talks about being in the pits of despair, uh, our enemies gloating over us. It speaks of hopelessness and gloom, uh, and yet it ends differently. Uh, the last, uh, the second last verse, verse 11 says that you turn my wailing into dancing. You remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy. People wore sackcloth as a sign of mourning. And he says, you've taken that away from me and, and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. The reality for most of us is that there will be times of despair and grief and feeling down. Uh, God, through the Holy Spirit, however, can turn our sorrow into celebration. Uh, He can clothe us with joy instead of mourning. Some of you are living uh, in moments of despair right now. Maybe something has happened to you or someone you love. You wonder whether you will ever feel joy again. And I want to encourage you to find your hope and rest in God. Grief and sorrow are natural human emotions. We all experience them. But God can turn those times of um, sorrow and sadness into times of pure joy once again. I want to encourage you in that today. God has, uh, his heart is for you and God's hand is reaching out to you and what God wants to bring healing into your life. I mean, years ago, I remember a young man who uh, said to me, he said he didn't think he would ever feel joy ever again because of something that happened in his family. And now today I see pictures of him on Facebook. I see his smiling face. I see his family and I see them rejoicing and laughing together and having such a great time. Uh, God has turned his mourning into celebration and to joy. Um, God can do that for you too. And uh, as you turn to him, I trust that God will just reach out to you and bring healing into your heart. Earlier in the same Psalm, uh, verse 5, we read, weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. And my prayer for you is that you would experience the joy of the Lord in your life once again. Uh, a joy that springs out of your relationship with the Holy Spirit today and every day. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your great love for us. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you, God, that though there may be times of sorrow and despair and hopelessness, your word tells us that you can turn our sorrow into dancing. You can change our 
weeping into times of joy. And so, Father, I pray that today for those people who may be watching today who are struggling uh, with their emotions right now and struggling through some very dark times in their lives, I pray that today you will help them as they look to you and hang on to you to experience once again those times of joy, those times of, of rejoicing with you. And so I pray, Father, your blessing on your people today. May we know your blessing and know your spirit in our lives today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch us and uh, sharing this with other people. Uh, We really appreciate that. Uh, We trust that you will have a great day today. God's willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.